Hello folks, today we are talking about the entire history of CSX and its predecessor railroads. There will be two parts, the Chessie branches and the Seaboard branches. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad was started in 1827 and it was the first railroad in North America. It would start operating in 1830. We will come back to the B&O in a couple minutes. Now, the CNO had some predecessors, so here we go. The Louisa Railroad was chartered in 1836 by the Virginia General Assembly to connect Richmond, Virginia with the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Louisa County. It was operated by the RF&P until 1850 when the Virginia Central Railroad took over operations. The Covington in Ohio was never formally incorporated, but continued building trackage west from the Virginia Central Railroad to the Ohio River. The Virginia Central merged with the Covington and Ohio in 1869 to form the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad. In 1878, it was renamed the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway. The Pier Marquette was incorporated in 1900 after mergers of three railroads, which were the F&PM, the DGR&W, and C&WM. This railroad would become merged with the CNO in 1947. The Baltimore, Carroll, and Frederick Railroad was chartered in 1852 to build a railroad from Baltimore to Washington County, Maryland. The railroad was renamed to the Western Maryland Railroad in 1853 and would operate independently for many years until 1964 when the B&O and C&O took control of the railroad. The C&O took control of the B&O in 1973 and formed the Chessie system where the Western Maryland, the B&O, and the CNO were still running independent operations but used shared rolling stock and kept their reporting marks. The Atlantic Coast Line was formed in 1900, but its earliest predecessor was the Petersburg Railroad, which ran from Richmond to Petersburg, Virginia. The Atlantic Coast Line ran from Richmond, Virginia to Tampa, Florida. The Seaboard Airline was formed in 1900 after mergers of many railroads that date back to the 1830s, including the Portsmouth and Roanoke, the Wilmington and Raleigh, the Raleigh and Gaston, and others. The railroad ran from Richmond, Virginia to Jacksonville, Florida. The Seaboard Airline merged with the Atlantic Coast Line in 1967 to form the Seaboard Coast Line, further expanding the rail system. The SCL would take control of the Louisville and Nashville, established in 1850, and the Clinchfield Railroad established in 1902. The LNN and the Clinchfield would merge with the SCL to form the seaboard system, better known as the Family Line System. In 1980, CSX Corporation was created as a holding company for the Chessie and Seaboard Systems, though it would be named CSC if it wasn't for a trucking company in Virginia with the same name. CSX still, however, stands for Chessie Seaboard Consolidated. The seaboard system was renamed CSX Transportation in 1986, where the first CSX locomotives would be painted. Now up to this point, the CNO has fully absorbed the Western Maryland, but the BNO was still technically independent. So on April 30th, 1987, the CNO merged the BNO right into the CNO, which was still called Chessie System, but was still corporately the CNO. It's kind of weird. The CNO slash Chessie system, whatever you want to call it, merged with CSX on August 31st, 1987. You probably thought this was the end, didn't you? Nope. CSX has taken control of various railroads since 1987. The Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac Railroad was established in 1836, and it was built as a bridge line transferring freight and passengers from Richmond to Washington, D.C. The railroad had done really well and had been able to survive until 1991, when CSX came knocking, and they said, Hey, we want your railroad. And the r p was merged into the CSX, where it today is just one subdivision of CSX. The Consolidated Rail Corporation, or Conrail, was created in 1976 after the failure of the Penn Central Transportation Company and other northeastern railroads to save the rail industry. The railroad did what it was supposed to and was supposed to be taken over at some point if the rail industry was able to sustain itself. Well, Norfolk Southern and CSX started fighting over the assets, and in 1999, they came to an agreement. CSX would get 42% of Conrail's assets, and, C and Norfolk Southern would get 58%. In 2020, CSX acquired Pan Am Railways, formed in 1981. 
CSX is currently trying to take over the Meridian and Bigby Railroad, but that hasn't been approved yet, so I don't really want to talk about that. So that's it for the history of CSX up to 2024. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.